In this video, we will be installing the Flexco Y-Type Standard Duty Secondary Cleaner. Before starting the installation, we will confirm that we have all the cleaner components, the mounting bolt kit, IOM packet, and all the required tools. Then once the conveyor is physically locked and tagged out, we can begin the installation. Now that we've locked and tagged the conveyor out and confirmed that our work area is safe, we're ready to proceed with the installation of the Y-Type. For this installation, we're going to utilize the YST drop bracket to speed up the installation. Now that we've confirmed that we have enough space here, we're going to install our brackets. When installing your brackets and the tensioner apparatus, you want to make sure that the brackets are perpendicular to the belt surface as well as plumb and true with the conveyor. Now that we have our bracket installed, we're going to need a reference point from our belt over to the bracket. We're going to use our level to get that. We're going to apply pressure upward on the belt to remove any cupping, level it, and get our belt reference mark here. Now with the Y-type with carbide tips, the top of our tensioner is going to be four and three quarters of an inch above that. So we're going to measure up four and three quarters of an inch make a reference mark on the structure. As a standard, the cleaner is going to ship with the tensioner in the pull up position, which means when we apply pressure to the spring, it's going to pull the cleaner up into the belt. As it is as a standard here, our bracket is actually interfering with the mounting bolts here. So we're going to need to flip this into the push up position. I've flipped one here to show this is the push up position where when we apply pressure to the spring it'll be pushing the cleaner up into that. In the next step I'll show you how to do that. When flipping the YST tensioner to the push up position from the pull up position as it's shown here the first thing we'll need to do is disassemble the tensioner. First removing the tensioning nuts, the washer, bushing and spring, the lower bushing, and then removing the sleeve. When reassembling, we need to put one of the tensioning nuts on. And the spring with the washer facing the nuts the lower bushing, and then the sleeve. Below the sleeve, we'll have the jam nut. On the tensioner base, we'll need to remove the top hat bracket. And flip the bracket. 180 degrees. Now when installing this to the brackets, we'll actually have to mount the tensioner base and then move up to our two and a half inch bolts to secure the top hat bracket to the mounting base and the bracket. We'll do that on the conveyor. Now, as you can see here, we flip this into the push up position so that as we apply pressure to the spring, it will be pushing the cleaner up into the belt. Now that we've flipped our tensioner to the push up position, we're gonna have a different mounting location. The IOM states that half an inch above the belt line is where our tensioner base will mount. So we need to measure up half an inch. And then mount our tensioner base as close as possible to that mark. Now 
Now that we have our bracket and tensioner base mounted on the opposite side and we've inserted our pole, we're ready to assemble the tensioner. In some cases, you may need to strap the pole up and slide the tensioner on after you've inserted the pole, depending on the structure width. Now we're ready to assemble the tensioner using the guide block first, then the spring assembly, Now we're ready to set the blade angle and center the cleaner to the belt. We want to have our tips perpendicular to the belt surface and the cleaner centered on the belt. Once we've done that, we can lock it in place with our lock bolts. We can lock our lock nuts, and then we're ready to adjust it up to the belt. Now that we have our angle set, we want to get our spring tension chart from the IOM packet. We can see here that the Y-type with carbide tips and silver springs, the spring length measurement should be three and three quarters of an inch. One thing to note is to make sure that the sleeve floats freely through the bushing on the bottom. We're going to adjust this up evenly on both sides until we achieve the three and three quarters of an inch from the top of our washer to the top of this base. Once we've achieved the three and three quarters of an inch spring length, we can lock our jam nut. And then we're going to want to adjust our sleeve so that we have about an inch and a half exposed below the bushing. That's going to give us free play. Then we're going to lock it into place. And the last step with any spring tension secondary cleaner is to make sure that it bounces freely for mechanical splice relief. That should have us all set up for the Y-type.